Hello everyone and welcome back to this video. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to trade futures on the Mexi exchange. So if I jump right into my browser right here, okay, this is the Mexi exchange. And one good thing I love about the Mexi exchange is that if you are going to be trading spot on the Mexi exchange, as you can see right here, you are trading spot with zero fee. But for futures, okay, for makers, you trade with zero fee. And then for takers, you trade with 0 0.01%, you know, okay? Makers and takers are, you know, those who trade for makers, they are the limit orders all right those who trade with limit orders and then for takers are those who trade with market order i will show you that in a moment when we go into you know the features trading interface and all of that so when you come in here to the Mexi exchange one good thing you should equally know before we go further is that if you're in the us okay you don't need kyc you don't need a vpn to start trading features um or start using the Mexi platform okay so you can actually sign up for an account now using the link in the video description and start trading on the platform without you know worrying about vpn or using um you know um, doing kyc on the um you know Mexi platform now to trade features on the Mexi exchange once you are here i'm doing this on the web version i'll do another video on how to use the app but this one we're using the web version okay so here on the web once you log into your account if you don't have a Mexi account already make sure you sign up with the link in the video description and you'll be able to get up to nine thousand five hundred dollars in deposit bonus okay using that link that i've provided for you now once i'm on the web browser i go to features and then i want to scroll down to where it says perpetual features okay make sure you are clicking on that one and i want to go to the usdt m features the reason for the usdt m features is because i have usdt in my account i'm going to be trading with usdt and i get paid in usdt so that is why you need usdt but if it is bitcoin you have if it is ethereum or any other token at all that you have and you want to use that for your features trading you can use the coin m features okay perpetual and all of that but we go with the um, usdt m perpetual features okay so once we click on that that will bring us to this features trading interface all right so this is the features trading interface for Mexi. now before we go into details the first thing you want to do if you are coming here for the first time is to go and click on this menu icon at the top right okay once you click on that that menu um you'll see all of these options here but the one that concerns me is where you have preferences okay so click on the preferences option and personally what i like doing is i like using the dark theme okay if you like using the dark or night mode you can do that if you want to use the light or day mode do that okay so i like using the dark theme i'm on the general tab then I want to scroll down here and where it says position mode, if you want to trade on both sides, okay, if I want to open a long position for BTC and at the same time a short position on BTC, that is called edging, okay, if you want to do that, you can go ahead and change that, all right, if not, by default, yours will be on the one-way mode, so you change it on, um, you know, to the edging mode, all right, that way you'll be able to edge the market in case anything happens or uh, maybe market is going against you but you need to be strategic about this all right don't just do it randomly so that you don't lose money okay change that to edge mode that is my own personal preference and then on the leverage mode leave it at advanced mode turn all of this on the only thing i didn't turn on is this flash trading if i click on flash trading okay you'll see um this option that appears on my chart here so it means that i can market buy here market sell here and all of that I just put the quantity here and i go ahead and buy and sell but i don't like that option okay so i'll always put it off go back to the preference and then i'll turn that turn off that flash sales off all right then advanced take profit and stop losses turn that on and every other thing the other confirmation window turn this on all right so that you don't make mistake when you're taking trees and all of that okay and then on field orders and all of that just turn all of those on and once you are done with all of the settings come back now this is the interface of your futures trading platform now one good thing again that i love about the Mexi exchange is their chatting platform if i go ahead and click to you know make this a full screen here you can see that i have access to almost all of the time frame all right with Mexi, i don't think that i need trading view i can only need trading view when i need maybe some indicators that are not listed here and all of that okay because on the time frame here you see that i can go from as low as the one minute time frame okay and to all of these uh, time frames okay i have the eight hours time frame here the six hours the four hours the 12 hours okay all of this time frame the three days the five days the weekly the monthly time frame i have all of that available 
on the Mexi chatting platform, all right? So I can do all of my technical analysis here on the Mexi exchange without going anywhere, okay? That is another thing that I love about the Mexi exchange and all of that. We'll come back to that, okay? Now, this is the interface. If you want to trade any token, any pair at all, the first thing is to go ahead and select that pair. Currently, we are on the BTC USDT pair. So if I hover over that, it gives you this search bar to search for any token that you want to trade. Let's say I want to trade ADA USDT. So once I just type in ADA there, you see the ADA option comes up. All right. When it comes up, you have two options. You are for the dollar. If you're in the US and you're trading directly with your dollar, you can do that. But since I have USDT in my account, okay, I am going to be trading the one that is for the USDT. So if I come back here and I type ADA here again, I will select the one that is USDT perpetual. All right. But if you are trading directly, because you can deposit dollar if you're in the US and all of that directly into your account. If you are trading with the dollar, then you can select this option. So I just select the, um, you know, ADA USDT perpetual contract, and that will open up the charts, okay, the pair, and, you know, load up that chart for me. So let it load up right now, okay? Yeah, so this will load up for you, and here you will see the current price of this token, okay? For the ADA trade, this is the current price. You see the change in 24 hours. You see all of this option. And this is where you will see your funding rate, okay? This is where you are going to see your funding rate. So um, here it shows that minus 0 0.01, okay? Uh, and then this will be um, actually uh, the funding rate. The next funding rate will be in seven hours from now. So for short position holders, the way funding rate works is, you know, if I hover over it, it tells you that the funding rate with the date there, okay? If the rate is positive, the long traders will pay the short traders. And if the rate is negative, the short traders will pay the long traders. This is one thing you need to take into consideration when you are trading futures. Okay, once this funding rate is very high and you are going to open a short position and the funding rate is negative, it means that funding rate can contribute to you getting liquidated on time. Okay, so I would uh, treat a video separately on funding rate, but just know that funding rate, because we trade perpetual contract, this is not officials that has expiring day. Perpetual contract is what we trade. So to hold that position, to continue to hold that position, every eight hours will pay funding rate. Okay, so if it is negative and you're holding a short position, money will be deducted from your account to pay those who are holding long position. Okay, and if it is positive, okay, and you're holding short position, you'll be the one receiving funding fee and all of that. So that is how it works, okay? We'll do a separate video on funding rate, okay? Now, when you select that, you have two charts here. You have the original and then you have the trading view. So always make sure that you are on the trading view chart, okay? This gives you access to these drawing tools and all of that that we're going to use. Don't use the original, all right? So this is where we're going to be doing our technical analysis. How do we know when to buy, when to sell and all of that, okay? I'll come back to that and show you that. Then here we have the other books. These are other books, okay, for limit orders that are pending, okay, to be executed, all right? So these are market makers, all right? These orders are market makers and all of that. They are the ones who trade with zero fee and all of that, okay? So here, if this is um, other blocks for, um, you know, sellers and then for buyers and all of that, okay? So you have all of these details. If you open trades, you will be seeing the summary of your trades here. Your open trades will be here. Your open trades will be here, any position, all of that, you'll see them here, okay? So we'll look at that in a moment. And then the next thing you want to do is your trading, okay, will take place here. You have the open option, you have the close option, okay? And then first thing before you trade, now we've selected our token, the next thing we want to do is to adjust our margins and our leverage. Currently, by default, what is selected here is the isolated with 20x leverage, okay? And with, you know, um, with the Mexi exchange, there are pairs that can give you up to 200x leverage, okay? For instance, if I go and click on this for the ADA trade, you see here that we can go up to 200x, all right? We can go up to 200x. Please don't use 200x if you don't know what you're doing here because you will just end up blowing your account within a second, okay? So here you have the isolated mode, you have the cross margin mode and all of that. Cross will trade, currently I have $100 on my account, okay? If I trade with cross mode and I don't use stop loss, and I get liquidated, I will lose the whole of this $100. Even if I enter a trade with just $10, all right? But for isolated mode, if I enter a trade out of this $100 with $10, and I don't put um, stop loss, and I get liquidated, what happened? Okay, I will only lose that $10 and still have $90 in my account. 
all right that is the difference be between cross and isolated as a beginner i always recommend that you use you know isolated and here the leverage i want to use is a 10x leverage i don't want to go more than that and after that i'll go ahead and click on confirm now remember i have only adjusted this for the long position okay i only adjusted that for the long position if i want to do the same for the um, you know short position i'll go ahead and click on that in case we open a short position and all of that stay on isolated and then i can use this slider to bring my leverage down to um 10 okay so i can or i can just click on it and type in there 10x all right so just click on confirm and that will equally be confirmed so now it means if i open a position i'm trading on isolated mode and i'm going to be trading with 10x leverage okay after that beneath it we have limit order and market order then we have other other types okay we have all of this but basically just understand how to use limit order and market order all right so if i use a limit order limit order allow me to set a price a pending price okay that is when we talk about market makers and all of that so uh i can go ahead and say i want to buy okay um the at that usdt i want to buy when it gets to 25 cent or 23 cent i'll go ahead and type 23 cent that is because i'm on the limit order now one thing you should understand about limit order is that if you are going to set an order to buy the price must be lower than the current market price all right if the price is higher than the current market price and you want to buy it means that it will be executed with the current market price then if you are going to set a limit order to sell the price at which you are setting here must be lower higher must be higher than the current market price okay so for a buy the price has to be lower than the current market price and for a sell the price has to be higher than the current market price okay so if i want to buy i'll say i'll buy when this actually drop down to 23 cent and then what is the amount of ada i want to buy i can use this slider here to move this to the end here okay if i use 100 percent, it means that i'm using the whole of my capital here all right and if i use 50 percent, okay if i make it 50 percent or thereabout it means that i am using 50 percent of my capital whatever this slider gives you right if it is 20 percent or whatever you put in here it is 20 percent of your capital that you are going to use okay now when i scroll down here it tells you the quantity of the that you are going to buy and above all it will give you the actual um, amount that it will cost you to buy that position all right and all of that so we are going to buy default it would have cost us more to buy 921 ada but because we are using a tennis leverage we can only spend 21 usdt to buy that all right now for take profit and stop losses okay it gives you that is why we check that advanced option on if i want to since i'm going to buy i will check this one that says long tp sl okay if it is for short i will check this other one so i check here and once i check that a dialogue box pop up to tell us where do we want to take our profit where do we want to you know set our stop loss so i can take profit by saying if i that gets to 0 0.30 i want to take profit okay and that will be that and that will have to move by 300 percent from the current price okay from that 23 dollars or 23 cents i want to buy right or i can just go ahead and type the percentage manually here well, let's say if i don't move by 20 percent i want to take profit and that will give you that and that will have to move from where we remember we are going to buy at 0 0.23 so if it moves to 0 0.2346 that will give us 20 percent already and we are done in the market and that will make us around four dollars in the market okay four dollars profit and all of that then for the stop loss i can say if it goes against me by 10 percent okay i'm going to close that trade so yeah 10 percent will mean that and that will need to drop to 0 0.2277 okay once you do that you go ahead and click on the open long position I remember why we check that other confirmation dialog box this pops up okay and it tells you that if we don't put stop loss we'll be liquidated when that gets to 0 0.0 0 0.20 right but because we put stop loss when it gets there we'll get stopped out and we'll lose um you know a certain amount which is minus two dollars and all of that and then if it gets here we'll make four dollars okay so once you're okay with that just go ahead and click on confirm and your order will be placed as you can see on the chart here my order has been placed all right my order has been placed on the chart so i that will need to get down here for my order to be triggered and we either be in profit or be in losses then when i scroll down here here now for the open position okay we can only get this open position when this order is triggered that is when we get something on the open position but right now we have some open orders which are pending orders all right so here is our pending order on the ADA for the ADA here so it means that when this trade trigger we're not going to be paying fee but when we close this with market order that is the only time we pay fee okay so here we are 
and you know have our trade set up here when at that gets to this level it will be triggered and you know we are in the trade okay then when it gets his our take profit it will be closed when it hits our stop loss it will be closed now once this trade is triggered okay automatically you'll see another line here for the take profit will be up here okay somewhere up there and then the stop loss will be here so you see them and you can click on them and drag them to adjust your take profit levels and your stop loss level and all of that okay so maybe in our live scalping and all of that you get to see how we use that to manage our trees okay so if i want to cancel this order all right if i want to cancel this order i don't want it any longer i can just go ahead and click on the revoke option here to revoke if i want to adjust my take profit and stop losses i can just click on this pencil icon okay to adjust it if i have many orders i want to cancel all at the same time i can just click on the cancel all orders here and all the orders will be canceled i can equally use this chart option here um this um line here okay i can just click on it and that order will equally be cancelled all right so that is how you do you know the buying if you want to open for a short position the same procedure all right now how do you know when to buy and when to sell that is when the chatting actually comes in so i'm going to click on this icon here to actually put our chart on the full screen so yeah this is our chart this is the other usdt trade that we are looking at okay there are a lot of tools that you can actually use a lot of indicators that you can actually use to determine when to buy and when to sell one of those tools is the macd indicator but in this video tutorial i'm not going to go through the macd i'll just show you how to use a simple rsi indicator to you know buy and sell so i'll just go ahead and take out the macd off this line okay let me take it off and then if i want to add indicator to my chart i'll go ahead and click on the indicators tab here okay just click on it and once i click on the indicators tab this pops up so we want to go ahead and type in rsi okay so we go ahead and click on this relative you know strength index option and that will be added to our chart all right so once it is added to your chart if you want to adjust the settings here you can go to the setting of this rsi and then for the line this one that is um, you know purple if you want to change it to white because we are using a dark screen and all of that you can change it if you want to make the line bolder just use this slider this option here where it says thickness click here you see that is bolder i click here all right the motica it is and all of that but i'll just use the first thickness here all right so once i select that you can change the color to whatever you want if you want to add the smooth uh, moving average you can do that but i don't use that okay and then once i dump i'm done with that i can go ahead now for this color here you see that the bar we have a line here which is the 50 percent level we have this area here this above the 70 and then below the 30 okay which is 70 50 30 that you see here if you want to adjust this you can do, but this is the default setting for the rsi so you want to use it this way now if i want to remove this background here where it says um you know h-line background if i click on that the background goes off okay yeah so that is how you can adjust this now these dotted lines here if i want to make it just a straight line i can click here and then do line okay and all of that but we'll just leave it as this use dotted line okay or just use dotted line and then i'll click on okay that is how you can adjust your rsi and all of that okay now you want to only buy depending on the time frame you're looking at currently i'm on the daily time frame okay and with the daily time frame it means that you can only take one or two trades depending on your risk tolerance and all of that okay maybe one or two or three at most three trades in a month okay so uh this rsi will change according to the time frame where i am currently on the daily time frame you want to only buy when the rsi go below the 30 level the 30 percent anything from 30 okay to zero that is when you'll be looking for buy opportunity all right currently the stage of the, the rsi what i want you to pay attention to is this number here all right you see this number changing here you see the number changing there okay that number changing there that's what i want you to pay attention to all right now if i move out of that you see that the rsi is currently at 32 so it means that at a point this rsi actually went down to if i hover over that okay so if i hover over this rsi went to 25 so if you have bought at 25 you would have been in profit right now okay if you have bought at 25 as you can see down there when it gets to 25 this coin actually moved down to around 0.2324 okay so you would have bought and right now you would be in profit and then you want to sell when rsi is at the overbought level 
all right when rsi is at the overbought level that is how i use it and for this to work effectively for you you have to be trading on a higher time frame so you can be trading using the rsi strategy on a higher time frame like the one hour okay so if i go and switch back to the one hour let's see that so you see here you would have bought here and then you would have sold when rsi is at the 50 percent level or at the 70 level and above and all of that okay and then when rsi is equally overbought when it gets to that level of 70 73 80 up to 100 you'll be looking to sell okay so you can use the rsi on the one hour time frame on the four hours time frame on the eight hours time frame and that will go ahead and give you a lot of you know signals here you would have sold here if you have sold there you would have made some profit as the market keep dropping and then if you buy here you would have started making profit already when the market start going up okay so that is basically how to use the rsi alone to determine when to buy and when to sell there are other use cases for the rsi like spotting divergence and all of that but right now just use it to spot when it is overbought you start looking you know um, to sell when it is oversold you start looking to buy and all of that okay there are other indicators which i will not go through in all all of them in this video we'll look at them gradually as we progress okay but this is basically a step-by-step -step guide on how to trade features so i just showed you how to set up your official trading account to the edge mode and all of that how to take a trade okay and for this particular trade i have here i can just click on this option if i want to cancel that and click on it to cancel it and that trade will be cancelled okay and i'll go ahead and take another trace again and all of that if i was in this trade and this trigger okay remember on the preference that we had to set alarm on okay to you know for this to produce a sound once my trade is triggered you get that sound okay that my trade has been triggered and all of that so this is a comprehensive guide on how to trade features using the maxi exchange and um, all i need you to do is i'll be doing more videos okay more trading strategies on the maxi exchange going forward so if there is anything you don't understand you can use the comment section okay or join my telegram group and ask some questions there and i'll see how best i can assist you in that all right so that is it for this video guys if you are new to the channel make sure that you subscribe hit that notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever we publish video like this okay you don't have a maxi account use the link in the video description to sign up for an account and uh, i'll see you guys in my next video